Hey, how's it going? Welcome back to the channel and a good looking puzzle in front of us. Now, this one is called Consecutive Non-Consecutives, um, which is a fun title and probably quite uh, descriptive of what we're going to be uh, looking at here. It's by Page Two. Uh, and with that, let's take a look at the rules, see what's going on. So normal Sudoku, every row, column, and three by three box will contain the digits one through nine once each. Now, the non-consecutive portion here is cells that are orthogonally adjacent cannot contain consecutive digits. Okay, so this is like a global constraint. So if this was a 1, you couldn't put a 2 in any of these positions because they would be uh, consecutive and orthogonally connected, and that breaks the rule of that uh, restraint. Uh, then we have cells connected by a pink Ren band line form a set of consecutive digits in any without repeat. So that's the consecutive side of this thing. So obviously... These little stubby Ren bands are all going to be two cell groupings that are consecutive. So one, two, three, four, seven, eight, whatever it may be. So there's a little dichotomy, if you will, of all of these guys being consecutives, but none of the remaining groupings can be. Cool. Uh, what else do we have then? Cells joined by an X sum to 10, cells joined by a V sum to 5. So these guys will add to 5 because there's a V between them. These will add to 10 because there's an X between them. Self-explanatory. Uh, cells joined by a black dot. One digit is double the other. So black crop keys. These two will be in a two to one ratio or as noted, one of them will be double the other. And then not all X's, V's, or dots are given. So there's no negative constraint on the V's, X's, or crop keys. Just on the, the, the global regional global, regional, global constraint of non-consecutive orthogonally adjacent cells. That's a mouthful. Anyhow, uh, those are the rules, but it looks like there's going to be a nice interaction between all this stuff because there's a ton going on here. So with that said, links in the description below. Let's get at it. All right, we're going to start with our Vs, our normal intro to V puzzling because they can only be 1, 4, or 2, 3. Oh, well, that's obvious. <laughs> These can't be consecutive digits because they are orthogonally adjacent. Therefore, is it working? Yeah, it works for all of them. These are not two threes. They're all one fours. Cool. Uh, that force is six, nine, six, nine, six, nine. Uh, we can look at these guys or these guys. I'll start here. If it's a one, it's a two. If it's a four, it could be two or eight. The problem with that is this can never be a two. Because if there's a two on this, well, one of these two has to be a two because one of these is going to be a one. This is eight, which means this is four and this is one. If this is one, this is two. And this has to either be three or five now and it can't be three because of the negative constraint. These would be orthogonally connected. They can't be consecutive. That's a five. Cool. Now, there's probably some more of those interactions going on. Like these two are going to, one of them's going to be a two, because obviously one of them is a one. The other one is either three or five. And boop, boop, boop. well, maybe we want to actually stay in here and think about the negative constraint a little bit more. Because the remaining digits are 3, 6, 7, and 9. These can't be 3s. This can't be 6. This can't be 7 or 9. That is useful. This can't be 6. Wait. That can't be true. Did I mess that up? No, it can't be. Sorry. I was looking at it the wrong way. How do you make these two consecutive? six and seven this is seven this is six this is four this is one that's now going to propagate throughout nine one four six two not two okay there we go now these can't be sevens what else do we currently have four has to go with a three or a five again this six or nine, this could be eight, five or seven. There's nothing currently restricting those from happening. 
All right, can we dive into this guy and use the same type of negative constraints? Let's see if we get anything out of it. Um, we need three, five, seven, eight, nine. These are not nines. Come on, computer. These are not, oh, duh. This is not three, it's five. These are not fives. This is three. This is not three. This is not three. This is not seven. Uh, one of these two is going to be the three. The seven actually just says this is the three. Get rid of those. And negative constraints anywhere, anywhere. Six, seven, five, six, nine, eight. That still is all working. Okay. Just got to make sure my vision's working today. That's all. Let's look at this grouping. This is five, seven, or eight, because we have almost everything in this row. This can't be a five, because this would have to be either four or six. Well, we already have them here, which forces this to be a five, which forces six, three, nine. Good. This is not nine, which means this is. These are sevens and eights. What does this guy here say? If this is seven, this is eight. If it's eight, it's nine, it can't be. So this is, sorry, this is a seven, eight pair. That's all that's left here. None of them are necessarily seeing anybody. No other negative constraints. Let's look at you guys then. One, two, five, and nine. This is not one or five. Actually, it's not nine either, because one of these two has to be an eight. So this is two. These are not twos. This can't be five. Two, one. This can't be one. This can't be one. This is. If this is one, this is two. That's actually going to give us what these two are. Right? There's nothing else saying one or the other. Doesn't look like it. Okay, let's look at these guys. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, and eight. Can we rule out five or eight here? If this is five, this can't be four, so it would be six. If it's eight, it could be seven or nine. Hmm, that doesn't really help yet. Let's go over here, though, because we have some information we might be able to plug in. Yeah, this four. Well, the five, nine pair now says this. Oh, the five here said it as well. This is three. Let's just get that in. These are seven, eight, and two. This can't be a two. This is. Therefore, this is either one or three, and it can't be one, a three. It's one. All right. Um, seven, eight. Is this... Still, no, these are six, sevens, and eight. Okay, we do get it that way. This five says this isn't six, so this is a seven, eight, which means this is six. Please stop the mistyping, computer. It's the computer, not me. Oh, uh, what else do we have? Let's see. Let's maybe think about this column or this one, either one, we're going to have to use both of them anyway, right? One, two, three, six, seven. Oh, I just saw something. This eight says this is seven, eight. Let's get that all in while we're here. Okay, so this, there are no sevens in this. This is three, six, nine. This can't be three. This is then, because that creates the six nine pair. The three can't go with the two, so it goes with the four. The what's left over, this is the singular seven. Therefore, this is six, this is nine, this is eight, this is five. Good. Uh we almost have an a cross going here. These two can't quite be ruled in or out at the moment, so let's stick our heads down into Crop keys? Yeah, what can this crop key be? It can't be 3, 6, and it can't have a 1 or a 2. It is 4, 8. There's a 4 there. This is 8, 4. What are these three remaining digits? Because we can probably use our uh, ren bands to work those out. 
three, five, nine. This is not five, and it's not nine. So yes, this is three. Okay, this is not three or five, so it's nine. This is five. The nine says this is eight. The five does break this up, and let's come back over here. This has to be two or four. Obviously, it can't be four. Now, do we look at this guy, or do we go on to you? Because you can't be from one or two, or four or eight, because we have one and eight and two all look. This is a three, six pair, and this three says this is six and three. Three has to go with two or four. It goes with two. What are these guys? Seven and four. This is seven. This is four. Okay, now we can cut over to here because we've removed some options. These are six and seven. This is the seven. This is the six by Sudoku. This has to either be seven or five. It can't be seven. It's five. These have to be one and nine. This is the one. This is the nine. Now we can get ourselves into regions one and three. Let's start over here just because. Two, five, eight. You're not five, you're not eight, you're not two. What are you guys? One, two, three, six, nine. You're not nine, you're not three, you're not six. What kind of correlations do we have here? None. The seven doesn't work, the three doesn't work. Okay, let's keep on keeping on then. What are these guys? One, four, seven. That's not one, that's not seven, that's not four. What a surprise. <laughs> uh, it doesn't look like we have any digits here that will take out multiples, so let's go on to this side. Maybe this was the side we were supposed to start on, but I decided not to. 258. What a surprise. Not 5, not 8, not 2. None of these, again, have negative constraints. What about you? 1, 2, 3, 6, 9. Not six, not three, not nine. None of those still are working out. This can still be nine, eight, or five, six. Yeah, that's right. I was going to see if one of these two options broke this one, but not necessarily. Let's jump over to here real quick, because these are one, four, and seven. It's going to give us the same concept of removing a bunch of crumb but this one we can finally do what can these be well it has to be four three then six nine seven one this is eight two five and again nothing is conflicting so that's good this becomes four one seven this becomes nine six three this becomes five two, eight. There we go. Oh, so wow, we got through that really quick. Uh, 13 minutes, almost 500 solves in less than four days. So yeah, this is a, a nice, fun puzzle to get into. So really enjoyed that one. Excellent groupings and combinations of, of the non-consecutive and the Ren band, which are consecutives, that all really flowed quite beautifully. Uh, a couple of spots where you just had to find the place to look to get things moving, but once you got there, it all flowed quite well. So, great puzzle. Hope you all enjoyed that one. If you did, like, comment, subscribe, donate, become a member, all that kind of good stuff. There's tons of options down there you can do to help out this channel. Any one of them is absolutely amazing, and I, I appreciate all of you for everything you all do. So, thank you very much, and we'll see you in the next one. Thanks a lot.